Hey, what's happening? It's TG Smooth back with some more Ark Survival Evolved, and this is going to be a guide that shows you guys where all the artifact caves are on the island. Now, for this guide, I will be using admin commands to go through the caves and show you exactly where the artifacts are located as well and how to get there. Anyways, enough with the BS. You guys get the point, so let's get up out of this joint. Alright, and we're here at the cave entrance for the Artifact of the Clever. It's located at 41.5 lat and 47.0 long. You can go ahead and take a look at the map really fast to see exactly where I'm at. Alright, and we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the surroundings now. We are east of what is known as metal mountain over that way is the redwoods and then you can't really see over that hill but i will give you guys an aerial view and kind of show you some landmarks as well all right so as i was saying to the west we have the metal mountain over here we have i believe it's winter's mouth and then over there, Red Peak, right there is the river that kind of runs through the center of the map, separate, separating those two mountains, yeah. <laughs> so, just so you guys got an aerial view and kind of know where it's at, you can see it right there down below me. Pretty easy to spot if you're flying through here at the base of the mountain. So, uh, yeah, this one's pretty easy to find. Now... I'm going to take you guys through it and show you exactly where the artifact is, so we'll BRB. Alright, so this is probably one of the easiest caves. If you walk in, you're probably going to get a small loading screen as soon as you get right up here, and you can see the big opening. Alright, uh, pretty much what you're going to want to do is stick to this wall right here on the right hand side. If you follow that, it will take you directly to the artifact of the clever you can see here as I'm running um, there's a lot of twists and turns in here and you guys might want to check them out because there are some explorer notes you can find so that's pretty cool as well but like I said you just follow this wall to the right um, there is a possible drop location right over here that will pass on the way and then BAM right here <laughs> artifact and to get out all you gotta do is follow the wall to the left so pretty easy instructions there let's go ahead and grab this really fast and that is the artifact of the clever hey hey we're flying all right, so this one I'm gonna do a little different. We're gonna start up in the air simply because there's a lot of foliage down there and it's really hard to see landmarks or anything like that. There's really nothing to go off. And of course, I will show that to you guys, but this is for the artifact of the hunter. We're at 80.2 lat and 53.5 long. You can see over here to our left hand side we have the red obelisk and then the redwood biomes over there, green obelisk, and that shoreline would lead to Stonehenge or whatever people call it now these days. But yeah, so this entrenchment right here, you can see kind of where the alpha wyvern is and that's why I wanted to bring it. Um, but that's where the entrance is down below us. So you can see it just kind of runs between this um, part of the map straight through. And it's a pretty heavily wooded area. So it's hard to spot down here. But let's go ahead and descend. I wish there was a faster way to this. But um, <laughs> there really isn't. So we'll take you guys long for the pain in the ass ride with me dragging you down man I'm dragging you down right so there is the entrance right there and let's go ahead and go in here and walk <laughs> it sucks that we actually have to like type in admin sheet on xbox I feel like it's a little bit extra work alright so for this cave 
you just want to go inside and stick to this left hand wall over here bam and then continue it to continue to follow it downwards I don't know word mix up my bad um, and keep going down 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 that's what my son says like I, I I'm on the like third floor of an apartment building now and like we go downstairs and he just goes down 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 now for this cave I don't know if you need like a gas mask or anything I don't seem to be getting affected by it but like I said I have um, admin commands on so I have infinite stats and all that good stuff but you're just gonna want to come down here and stick to that left hand side you can go ahead and jump down here in the, this pit of all the enemies in the world and then continue to go straight you'll see this little part right here where you have to duck down you know between the crotches of some arthropleuras and bam right here is the artifact of the hunter guys and to get out you can pretty much traverse the same way so if you're not blocked in if not you can take this way out there is a way out so that's pretty cool as well I don't think you actually have to duck there but you can just follow this way out if you go up here and hook a right it will lead you right back up to the path uh, you came down so no big deal there and we're gonna move on to the next cave guys next up we have the cave entrance for the artifact of the pact it's located at 68.2 lat and 56.2 long you can go ahead and take a look at the map really fast all right and we're flying right above it let's go ahead and take a look around so over here you can see the red obelisk um, followed by the redwood you can see where the redwood meets the swamp right here we're kind of like on that little corner um, right below me is the alpha wyvern so you can see the cave entrance but if you look over here there's these kind of like little dirt paths that pretty much lead directly back to it so this one's really easy to find if you're out in that area um, following the swamp um, if you're coming from this way, the easiest way is just to try to find like this ledge right here and look for the rock piles right down there. You see them by the, the wyvern. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and head on down, show you guys the entrance, and then take a look around inside. So now that we're down below, you can take a look at the cave entrance and its surroundings as well. Um, once again, a lot of foliage, a lot of woods, uh, trees, and stuff like that. So it's really hard to spot from some angles, especially if you're looking for it from the air. But anyways, let's take a look inside and show you guys exactly where the artifact is wait for it to load up a little bit okay so once you head inside you're gonna hit this first room um, you can't really go anywhere but straight so let's continue this way and run all the way back here Doo -doo 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 -doo. now the whole objective of this is pretty much you're gonna want to continue to just go downwards I mean that's as easy as it gets or the easiest way to explain it because there's a lot of different paths in these caves that you can take that kind of lead to dead ends or stuff like that but if you go down and kind of like forward towards the cave you should be fine and whoop, apparently that did not work <laughs> I, I did it prior to coming in here but I guess the loading screen makes everything respawn so over here on the left hand side you're gonna have like this big cluster of green crystals that's just gonna indicate like you're going the right way and we're gonna continue to head downwards hook a left right there and continue to follow that narrow path you're gonna come to another open room once again you can just jump down here or you can follow this path over here that slopes downwards and there's an explorer note right there as well 
and then we're going to continue pretty much forward from there and hook a left and then a right <laughs> all right following this down here now we made it to the bottom of the mushrooms and we're going to hook a left now and then a right we're going to come to the second area where we're going to get the um, or I, I should say the next area where we're gonna get the second explorer note there's the mammoth dozier right there that's just once again an indicator you're going the right way and then you're gonna come into a really huge open cavern area um, now there's two ways you can do this you can go underwater and do this or you can use a grappling hook I do believe so all right and we're gonna jump across here you can see over here on my right hand side there is a little entrance up there we can go ahead and grappling hook that bam easy peasy and then we follow this straight through here and it's gonna take us right to the artifact of the pack as you can see right there then we're to get out we're just gonna turn around and just you know pretty much do the same thing we got to get in just go back and look for that second observer note and then hook a right from there if you guys are wondering there's a drop there as well it's looking like we're really not worried about those in this video but I'm gonna head on to the next cave so I'll see you guys there Next up is the Artifact of the Massive, which the cave entrance is going to be located at 70.6 lat and 86.1 long, and you can take a look at the map really fast. Alright, and your main point you're going off of here is the Crescent Island, you can take a look around right down there where the alpha wyvern is you can see the cave entrance so over there is the crescent island and you have like this little crescent um i guess like peak over here that it's kind of tucked into um down that way is the swamp and the green obelisk All right, and here we can see the entrance, pretty cool. And let's go ahead and go inside and show you guys exactly where to get this artifact. And there's gonna be a loading screen right here. Gotta love these loading screens. And, uh, all right, moving, maybe, okay. Moving forward, we're just gonna continue to make our way downwards and make a right over here. Continue downwards now I don't know if I'm gonna have to despawn these guys but there's gonna be a lot of enemies in these caves there's a drop location over there to my left I'm gonna head over to the right um, and then on this right path again skipping that part all right and super hot down in here and we're gonna continue downwards but yeah, for these videos, the, the point of them were just to show you exactly where the artifacts were. I don't want to give away any, like, um, well, I, I guess it's it's not spoilers, really. It's just, like, this isn't a how-to-beat-the-cave guide. So, just want to leave out all the BS I can, and you can fall down right there. Bam, another drop location right there. If we make a left, we can continue to follow this path until we hit these two crystals right here. We are going to make a left, I believe. No, we're <laughs> it's not a left. Okay, continue straight, and then it's a left. I believe so. Yeah, see, it can get a little confusing. All right, so the dinos are back in here, but you can kind of see there's a horde of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I almost committed suicide right there, but I'm in god mode, so I don't think that would be an issue. Oh, I can actually swim in lava in god mode. Okay, that's really good, because I missed that jump right there, but there's going to be a jump. 
or else I would have been dead. I could have used the grappling hook to easily get over there, but if we jump over here, we can see right there is the artifact of the massive. And then if we go out this way, the same way we came in, um, you guys kind of seen like a little structure building back here. Um, when I took this wrong turn, there's an explorer note right over here as well. Bam. Alright, so moving on to the next cave. Alright, next up is probably one of the easiest caves to find. It's on the Dead Island, or aka Carno Island, at 14.7 lat and 85.4 long you can see it's the island at the very northeast side of the map all right and directly in front of the cave entrance there is one the one of the explorer notes sorry a brain fart there and then you can see over there i believe that's winner's mouth um right there to the right and winner's tooth or something like that i always get them mixed up but anyways, this one's super easy to find. Um, shouldn't be any problem there. Alright, and I would recommend, I know in the other caves I haven't really given any tips, but I would definitely recommend like bringing parachutes or grappling hook into this one. And then let's go ahead and walk. <laughs> That way I can show you exactly how this is going to work. Well, I, I could have just went into the water up here and that fly would have went off. Anyways, we're going to jump down here and just continue to swim. There's going to be an opening up here to the right. Right, let's go ahead and swim up there. And now the fun part. It really doesn't take a lot of skill, especially if you have a parachute. Um, just kind of jump down there and glide your way to the artifact. If you look straight down, you can see it. So, pretty cool. We're just going to jump off the ledge right here, use our grappling hook, and then reel ourselves down. Pretty simple. Um, you can do the same thing to get up. It just takes a few more. Just go back and forth between these cliffs and grab it that way and continue to proceed upwards until you make your way to the exit and then pretty easy to get out of here so there you have it and that's exactly where the artifact of the devourer is next up on the list is the artifact of the sky lord which is located at 19.2 lat in 19 long you can see we're in the very northwest corner of the map and i'll give you a second to look at that there all right so looking at some landmarks we got the icebergs over there we have the blue obelisk right over there and that's pretty much all you're gonna see you're gonna see like a very flat ice shelf right here and that's gonna be pretty much the pathway down to the cave entrance right there all right so let's go ahead and go inside and show you guys exactly where the artifact is for this cave all right so starting off of course there's going to be a loading screen eventually somewhere around here maybe not okay there it is all right awesome that one was actually pretty fast so once we get in here you pretty much want to hug this wall on the right the whole way to the artifact and let's go ahead and get our grappling back out so this part right here kind of makes a little U shape and we continue to follow it around towards the right. As I said, you're going to come across this little pathway right here and then you'll see like the energy pulsing from the artifact over there. Let's just go ahead and grapple, bam, and yeah, there's the artifact of the Skylord. So this one's pretty simple as well. Now remember, these videos are done with admin commands on them, so 
Uh, you're definitely going to have enemies in all the caves you've seen in this video, just be aware of that. Anyways, we're going to be moving on to the next artifact. Up next, we got the Artifact of the Strong, whose cave entrance is located at 29.3 lat and 32 long. I'll give you a minute to go ahead and look at the map real quick. We are in the northwest um, corner of the map, and let's go ahead and take a look around here. So, most notably, right there is the Metal Mountain. Your next kind of like landmark is just to be looking out for a bunch of these small like little ice sheets and then finally the cave entrance you can see down there and the blue obelisk right there so let's go ahead and fly down here really fast all right and once again here's what the cave entrance looks like from a little distance back now all right so to get the artifact we're gonna want to run inside here really fast all right a little much to jump over there Okay, and seems like we're past the loading screen, so um, we want to get in here and really hug this left hand side of the wall. You're going to come across this, it don't matter if you go left or right there, you're going to have to crouch down to get into this cave. That's just them preventing flyers from getting in. Alright, so once we get inside, let me go ahead and put this crossbow up. We're going to want to stick to this left hand path right here. Or it's it's actually kind of straight so if we go straight and then head down here we're gonna want to hook around here or you could just jump down from that part sorry about that and then jump over here and hug this left wall all right now you're gonna start to see like the little art alien I, I, I guess artifacts or like constructions start to pop up that's just going to indicate you're going the right way and then once you get to these ice sheets you're just going to want to jump all the way across them over to there if there's enemies you can always grappling hook no big deal up to this little ledge all right so pretty much you're going to want to snake around here and go into this entrance um, if not, you're going to have to like go all the way around. So there's a drop there and a drop right there as well. So plenty of drops down here. And then a dead body along the way. That's just going to indicate you're going the right way. And then some bad guys. Now up at this spot, you want to go over to the right and go up this hill right here. And then you're gonna come to this room now I just like hardcore parkour across some of this stuff like right here I run up here to this on the left hand side and you can see even with enemies in here it's pretty easy to dodge them and then jump over to here that's a possible drop location right there and you can just work your way down um, because we're gonna be going into this entrance so if you didn't jump across those you would have came across the path that just led you right there um, we're just going to go ahead and leave those crystals there so enemies don't follow us and grappling and hook across it and continue forwards. Alright, so you're going to make a left right here. I'll be damned, that actually made it. <laughs> There's a drop location right there as well and we're going to continue to sprint past all these guys. Um, in case you guys are wondering, my movement speed is a 143%. Um, they're kind of blocking where we need to go now. Let's just grapple and hook out of there. Alright, so we're going to make it into this room, and you're going to see the ape. There's lots of guys going ape shit, apparently. You could just grapple and hook over there and grab the artifact and use it as an escape route as well. But, for now, yeah. <laughs> there goes my crossbow. No, damn it. Anyways, to get out of here, guys, you're just going to want to stick to the wall on the right-hand side. And Sorry about that. Scratchy voice. Holy crap. Stick to this right-hand side and just kind of navigate your way down below. 
um, out, it's going to be hard. You're not going to be able to like do the, the platforming all the way back up, so you're going to have to stick to these paths. And just follow this right hand side wall. It'll give you like the general direction you need to go to get out of here. You can see like the crystal rock wall that we grappling hooked over right there. So yeah, that's the artifact of the strike. Alright, next up is what is also known as, I believe, the Swamp Cave, which is located at 62.7 lat and 37.3 long. Um, anyways, guys, like, the only noticeable, like, um, waypoint is kind of the pond that's in the western side of the Redwood. You can see it right in front of me, but if you go to that pond and go to the side I'm on, there's this little passageway that kind of leads you right to the entrance of the swamp cave. It's pretty easy to see and it's pretty narrow. Um, not a lot of foliage around it, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside real quick. Let's go ahead and walk. Sorry about that. Alright, so going down inside of it, we're going to let it load really fast. Ah, oh, the console struggle. I don't know if it's like this on PC, so I can't <laughs> I can't complain about that. But once we get inside, we're gonna want to hug this wall on our right hand side. Continue to follow it downwards. All right, and then we're gonna come to this room right here. You can kind of see the artifact pulsating right there. So we're gonna go ahead and make a right at this point and continue to head downwards until we get into like this mushroom room. Um, we're just gonna wanna skip these guys right here, jump across them, if possible, if possible. I just made a death trap for myself, BRB. Ah, there we go, much better. So that's, some, yeah, that's why I just clear out dinos before I go into the caves, because like, I'm just trying to get straight to the artifact and you get swarmed a lot. So down here is a possible drop location. Once you get to the bottom of this, you're going to want to turn around. You're going to see this passageway up here, as well as an explorer note. I believe we passed two explorer notes on our way down here. I'm not, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm actually pretty positive. But if you continue to head up that way, it will take you directly to the artifact of the immune. Now to get out of here, you just simply follow this path back down towards Lagville and, <laughs> and then make a U-turn after you get out of this and just hug the wall on your left hand side right here and that will take you to the entrance all right so moving on all right so next up on the list is the artifact of the cunning but we're down to the last two caves, and they're going to be underwater caves, so a little harder um, to show exactly where they're at. But for this one, we're going to start at 46 lat and 87.3 long. And really, our only marker is the green obelisk, and then the very southernmost swamp, and then this mountain right over here. You can take a look at the map real quick. If you see at about 30, 80, that mountain right there is the one we can see. But anyways, from here, we're just going to go straight out into the water, and I'll kind of give you a few and a really, really good look around um, when I start coming out here. But at this grid location, you'll swim out a little bit, and you'll kind of see like a very, very steep shelf drop off. You're just going to want to swim down that. I said swim, game. Swim. Alright, and once you swim down that, you'll see the entrance to the cave. Pretty easy to spot by a bunch of seedweed and small clusters of rocks. Anyways, that grid location is at 45.9 lat and 88.8 long. Alright, now we're just going to want to continue to swim straight and downwards at this point and make a right up here. A little bit of lag. A little bit more lag <laughs> all right so and this will take us inside of the cave even further this video is well this this cave is going to take a little bit longer just because the swimming speed 
Um, I'm not gonna take any dinos through here really, that way I can at least go slow enough to kind of show you uh, the direction better. But anyways, let's go ahead and wipe those dinos and continue to swim straight forward. This one's pretty easy, not a lot of navigating to do. But once you get inside and you go straight forward, you're gonna see like this little arc bridgeway on your left hand side. You just wanna swim through that. Uh, you can go up top, that's gonna pretty much take you the same direction. And we're gonna continue to follow like this little trail right here. Alright, now up here on the right, we're going to approach like a construct, an alien construct. We're going to want to turn towards that and start to swim downwards. Once you start swimming downwards, you're going to see an opening in the ground. Just swim right through that. Alright, and then you're going to see a bright light um, on the ground and kind of like an entrenchment. Just follow that back and this is going to take you straight to the artifact. Bam. Cool little room over here, but this is the artifact of the cutting, I believe. Yes, bingo. Alright, so now to get out, you're just going to take the opposite directions. Um, try to find this little hole right up here. That's the same way you came in. And then just follow this back out. Once you swim back upwards through the little cubby hole, you're just going to make, like, stick kind of left and straight, I guess you would say. Here, I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, so this is the little cubby hole. Then look for the ailing construct, construct maybe? <laughs> and then just go right to the left, you'll follow that path right out. All right, moving on. Alright, and last but not least, the Artifact of the Brute. We're going to start at 55.7 lat and 12.8 long. I'll give you a second to look at the map right there. I, I, I don't know why my marker's in the ocean. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there you have it. And then there's nothing really around here to go off of besides the Red Obelisk. I would just keep following the beach up. You're eventually going to hit this big rock formation right here. I'm going to be starting at this rock right here and just swimming straight out. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. And then once you swim out enough, you're going to come across like this really, really steep um, shelf right here. Right, and I'll let you guys take a look at the view behind me once I get out here far enough. Right, so you can see there, and then it's going to be like this huge drop-off. You're just going to want to swim downwards from there. Alright, and there we have the cave entrance. I'll let you guys go ahead and take a look at that. Right, so that's what it looks like right there. And this is located at 53.1 and 10.2. Alright, let's go ahead and go inside and get the artifact of the brute. Finally, the last one. I'm so stoked. Oh my god, this video has taken so long, guys. You you just don't you just don't know. Um about two days it, it took to make this video. So if you guys do like this video, if it did help you out, don't forget to show your support. Please, please, please. Um slap that thumbs up button and share the crap out of this video so you can um, get it more exposure and it's able to help other people out find these artifacts and Locate them inside the caves as well. All right, so we've done a lot of swimming and We're just gonna continue to go straight. It's pretty much a straight shot back um, You are gonna have to swim quite a bit unless you're riding on a dino But I'm just I'm, I'm not going on dinos guys because I don't want to go too fast for you to kind of like miss any of the smaller details but yeah we're just pretty much headed straight back um, towards the end of the cave let's go ahead and wipe these dinos out of here and you can keep stay completely submerged the whole time to get the artifact I just like getting up on land sometimes I don't know I, I've 
not a big fan of underwater but once you swim straight back you're gonna come to this portion of the land you just want to go straight across it and jump back down into the water all right and then you're just gonna want to follow that straight until you can hook a left right there and then up here we should be making a right Swimmy, swim, swim. <laughs> Believe it or not, my oxygen is actually at 540. Um, I, I think one of the patches, they, they nerfed the oxygen, the movement speed you get underwater from oxygen, so that's why we're not going that fast, by the way. I did try, though. I did try. All right, so we are approaching. We'll be able to unsubmerge here in a second. Alright, just a lot of freaking swimming. And then you're gonna come to this part of the cave where you got like all of these orange crystals and stuff like that. Alright, and we're just gonna wanna get up on land here and kinda get our bearings. Alright, so I'm gonna have to take off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put some flak boots on so I move a little bit faster. Now that we're in here, you can see we kind of swam right past the artifact, but it's right down in there. Um, pretty easy to get to, and it's pretty easy to get out of. If you guys see right behind the artifact, there's the path um, you take to get out, but right here is the artifact of the bird. Alright, and I just kind of a heads up guys um i am doing dino wipes expect dinos to be in here the typical cave dwelling dinos and that for land and underwater as well um squids pleasy snakes spiders all the good stuff but anyways like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope it helped you out but as usual this is tg smooth out and remember to stay smooth peace